So now I need to go from this length, that's this dimension right there, and find out what is the radius of this atom. Okay, now it's not uh, directly be, uh, just dividing that by two because I have a little gap there and I don't know how uh, far that is. Okay, furthermore, I can't go this way because I also have a gap there and I don't know how far that is. So the way that um, they are connected end to end is all the way across from one diagonal of the cube um, or right through the center to the other corner. Okay, so it's a little bit more complicated, but um, not to let that daunt us. We can uh, do this calculation in two steps. First, we see one triangle here where I have the short edge and then across the face uh, diagonal and then that long uh, diagonal. Okay, so that's uh, one triangle that I have there. All right, and I know this value um, is from from right there, so I'll just kind of make a indication of that. And then I don't know what this one is, but uh, this is the one that I want to find. Okay, so then the question is, how can I determine what this angle or, or uh, length is? All right, that is okay. Here's our triangle from this atom to that one forming a triangle there between those three. Um, so this distance is uh, is going to be from the, it's just the hypotenuse of the, uh, the face there. Okay, so that's my second triangle. And uh, this distance, let me just uh, put a letter here, call it Y. That distance y is going to be the same, uh, I'm sorry, that is the hypotenuse there, and then this is my unit cell dimension, okay? And uh, so what I'm going to do is take this value squared, um, let me call this uh, z, so that I can write it uh, algebraically, z squared plus z squared or 2z squared equals y squared. All right, so y is the square root of 2z squared, okay? And that is what I can use for there, all right? So um, plugging all of this in, I have uh, here now, this is z, so I have uh, z for this dimension, z squared plus y squared, or plus this squared, which is 2z squared, so that's going to be now 3z squared, equals x squared. Okay, x is what I want to find, so let's take the square root of both sides, and I get x equals, um, I'll just put it out in front, z times the square root of 3. All right, so z is this value here. So all I need to do is take that value, multiply it by the square root of 3. All right, so uh, let's see if I can do this here, times and just in case I'm going to use the parentheses and take three square root close parentheses equals and I have 5.44 times 10 to the minus eighth okay so that is my dimension there 5.44 let me go ahead and carry this out another digit times 10 to the minus 8th. And what are the units? Well, I have centimeters. Um, so, and this is just a number, so that is in centimeters.
Okay, let's go ahead and convert this to picometers. And uh, we do that um, by recognizing that picometers is 10 to the uh, rather not minus 12 uh, meters and centimeters is 10 to the minus 2 difference of 10 to the minus 10 and uh, if we move that over well let me just write it out 5.441 times 10 to the minus 8 centimeters times uh, 1 centimeter is 10 to the 10th picometers all right so I'm going to move my decimal 10 places to the right, or uh, from here it'll be 544.1 picometers. Now this distance is the, the distance from here to there, all right, across that diagonal. So I have one, two, three, four radii uh, in that distance. So if I just take this divided by four, I get the radius of, uh, of molybdenum, okay? So let me uh, just take this value, divide it by four, and uh, that'll be uh, 136, okay? Or um, 136.0, picometers. Okay. Incidentally, that uh, is in good agreement with the uh, actual value of, or the measured value of 139 picometers.